So there's really only two types when it, when it comes to types of animations for the most part. The first type is going to be more of a cartoon, and the second might be more of a realistic, but still somewhat, somewhat noticeably AI generated. You choose kind of what you want, if you want the cartoon or more realism. Okay, so there's a few programs out there I want to do a shout out to. First one is going to be Leonardo.ai. Head over there, you can get free credits. And the second is going to be RunwayML.com. And of course, there is Suno.com, but that's music AI. If, you, if you're if you not a musician, but you want to be, and you're just making your songs in Suno AI, and you found this, and you already have Suno AI, that's great. Both AI apps and other apps out there can create realistic and cartoon animated-like images. Anyway, do whatever you think captures the feeling or essence of what you want to come across the screen in your music. First and most important aspect is creating the singer. You need to realize this, and this is very simple. The only really difficult thing about making a AI animated music video, because AI animated footage for free is everywhere. However, an AI animated character moving his or her lips and singing is something that's specific to your song. I wrote and recorded a song I call Shell Beach. I recorded the, the guitar and the vocals and the drums and stuff, but then I actually paid a female vocalist who didn't want to be in the video. So then you start with the base image as you can see. Now you can animate the image and give it motion in Leonardo.ai. You can also do that in runway.ml. You can um, create the base image if you have a base image, like a cartoon of basically what you want is a close-up of the face. Yeah, they can be standing back to being closer to their face is better. If that's not like you, your thing, maybe farther away is better. Is take your base image. All you're going to do is go into runway.ml. Then there's lip sync video. It's the fourth one on the top with a lady singing. You only get so much time on the free credits in runway.ml. So here's a little trick. Take your song and imagine if you only have one chorus and it's the same chorus. You're going to use that repeat in your music video over and over again. Now when it comes to the verse, let's imagine you have two verses. Each verse is sung differently. Take your song, free, splice it up. What you want to cut out of your song is cut out the beginning and all you want left is just the verse, the chorus, and the second verse. Take that and drop it into the thing on the side over here where it says drop your audio file, click upload, etc., etc., etc. Okay, and then from there you're going to go down and you're going to hit the generate button after you've dropped your image in there. And then you're going to wait anywhere from a minute to three or four minutes or longer. And for the most part, with a still image, you're going to get the best results because it's just going to be the still image with the mouth moving. If you put an animated image where there's already movement in there, then you do run a chance that the whole thing may glitch out. Tell me so I hear it. Tell me something new. Tell me right now. If you have questions, feel free to ask. So again, the most important thing when you want to make an animated music video is just that, getting the person's mouth to sing. Now when it comes to whether it's piano or guitar playing or the scenes, you can use Leonardo.ai or Runway.ml. Um, you can go to Google. I believe they have one. There's lots of them out there. And then basically just choose your scene. So like I said, you can do like 50-50 where you're in the video. Maybe you're playing your guitar, your drums or you're singing, then the other person, maybe you have a duet and you're using an AI um, vocalist or something for your duet. Anyway, but when it comes to other scenes like music videos, just figure it out. Basically, uh, one really simple way is maybe start out with whatever, again, captures the essence of the song. But overall, it, it's real simple. Now, if you have more questions, like I said, feel free to ask. Please, if this helped you, subscribe. I've had a few million views and less than 10,000 subscribers and everybody says thanks, but I need more subscribers, I need more whatever, and I'll make more of these videos because there's a whole bunch of other information that's not on YouTube that I can give you, that I can show you how to manipulate songs and AI to your advantage so you can create whatever little masterpiece you want 
much faster and easier than um, maybe the old approach. Anyway, the links are in my are in the, at the bottom of this. The links, if you want to watch the music video, which I show pictures of and referenced here to explain what I did, go watch my music video. Please give it a thumbs up. But check it out. Then you'll get a clear picture of how I did mine. Yeah, some parts are a bit cringy. Yours might come out a little cringy, but the more you do it, the better it's going to get. And, you know, people will recognize that your first one's always going to be a whatever. That was the first one I did. I do have a lot of professional experience doing this and doing it for other people as well. So thank you for watching. This is Newcastle Music Studios. My name is Newcastle Chris, and I like rock and roll. Thanks for watching. Bye.